Hi everyone, I am fixing to make a low carb, uh, no bread meatloaf. I'm uh, kind of running out of space here. I've been canning all day. Some of it I filmed, some of it I didn't. Uh, I'll go over it with you. This is our mixed berry pie filling. Each one of these will make two pies or a cobbler. This is our cherry pie filling. Same thing with that. And these are, now these I filmed. These I did not because I filmed salsa before. This is all fresh out of the canner, hot sauce. I love hot sauce. So I'm going to cover these back up. You don't want it to get a draft. Okay. So I'm starting off, I'm cutting up with very little space some onion. This is half of a small onion. And I'm going to throw this in here. And then I'm going to have to do this in segments because there is not room over here left for everything I need. So next I'm going to cut this bell pepper up and I'll get right back with you. Okay, I'm going to take this bell pepper, dump it in here with the onion. I'm going to get that out of the way. I'm going to add to that, this is about a pound, a little maybe a little less. Of lean ground beef. Okay. And how much is this? This is a pound of ground sausage. Now remember, there's not going to be any bread or anything in this one. I'm going to reduce the carbs of our meatloaf. And to me, a, a meatloaf is a loaf of different meats. And you can use ground turkey or uh, Venice, whatever you got, whatever you like. But I always like to combine at least two to three meats and get all those different flavors in there. Today we're going with pork and beef. Okay, hold on y'all, I'll be right back. I gotta clean this mess. I'm so hoping this doesn't fall. Okay, next up I'm gonna add some garlic. This is free minced garlic in a jar. I'm tired, didn't want to cut any more fresh anything today. Alright, I'm making a mess. Okay, next up, a little Worcestershire sauce. And it does have a few carbs in your sauces, but not much. Just don't go nuts with them. Um, and a little steak sauce. The thing is, we're not adding any bread or cracker crumbs. That's how we're keeping it reduced carb. Okay, we're going to add garlic powder. We're on a camera that doesn't hold long segments or other ones hooked to the computer right now uploading all the canning. So, uh, garlic salt. And onion powder. Okay, looks like some garlic flung on this. Turmeric. Montreal steak seasoning. And we got the spicy. A little tiny cashews. A little pepper. And a little meat tenderizer. Okay, so I have more space. I'm going to put all this out, and I'll get right back to you. Okay, next step. We're going to add two eggs. Okay. Now, you need sugar-free ketchup for the top. I don't have any. I'm just going to use this, so mine won't be as low-carb as yours could be. Now you want to mix this really good, so you want to use your hands. Okay? So you want to get in there and just do like this and get all those different meats blended. Because you've got pork and beef, and you don't want someone getting all of one thing. And you want to get all your veggies in there and all your seasonings, everything mixed thoroughly. Alright, I'm going to keep mixing for a while, and I'll get back with you in just a few. Okay, I don't know how... I'm praying this pan doesn't fall. This is very well mixed. 
Okay, so I'm just gonna, I'm not putting it in a loaf pan because it made so much. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is just kind of form it a little bit. And if you press it out, it'll cook quicker. And then you can have meatloaf squares. It's actually pretty good like that. Okay. And if you're, you know, not worried about carbs, you can add bread. I just don't. I don't like that bread. Now, I usually, like I said, use sugar-free ketchup. You can also use tomato paste. But I'm just going to use some regular ketchup right now. My hand's gross. Hold on, let me wash my hand so I can squeeze that better. Alrighty, I didn't want to get meat blood on the ketchup bottle. Now, like I said, use some sugar-free ketchup and it will work on helping keep your carbs down. I'm not, you know, like extreme low carb. I just try to reduce them so I'm going to have whatever I can find. Alright. What is a spoon? Uh, and what canning days in your kitchen smells good, but it's such a mess. I'll just use this. Okay, so we're just going to spread this ketchup out. Or all over our fingers. Look at my hand. <laughs> okay, I got my oven preheating to 350 degrees. And we're just going to spread this across the top. And pop it in and you want to make sure it's completely done so whether you're doing a tall loaf pan or you're flattening it out in a pan like this will depend on how long it takes to cook and so you want to check the meat up the middle get your meat temperature make sure everything's up to par do not eat raw ground beef or raw pork sausage not a good idea I always just cut the middle and make sure all right, I'm going to pop this in the oven, and I'll get back to y'all in a little bit. Okay, got to have something to go with the meatloaf, and we're trying to keep the meal low carb. So I washed and cut the bottom out of this head of cauliflower. I'm going to pop it in this pan. So we are going to have cauliflower and meatloaf. You can make mashed cauliflower, you can make, I'm just going to steam it up with some chicken broth and some butter. And don't worry, the parts of the cauliflower we don't eat, Bambi will love. We feed the deer. It works. Okay. And I've even taken it when it's cooked, mashed it like mashed potatoes, yum. Okay, I'm telling y'all I need a bigger kitchen. Okay, so now I'm going to take our cauliflower. I'm going to dump in a can of broccoli, not broccoli, a can of chicken broth. <laughs> I'm going to dump a can of broccoli in. I'm losing my mind. And I'm going to stick some butter in here. Get Paula Dean eat your heart out. Sorry. I think she gave up a lot of her butter. She's gotten thin. Okay, next I am going to come down here and put it on the stove. I'll be right back. I'm going to get down there. Okay, we are down on this side of my stove now. Just a little seasoning salt. A little garlic powder. Because there was already salt in the oven. I don't want to over salt it. But I love seasonings. I do, I do. And some pepper. Because, like, you see this? <laughs> and you see these? And there's some more in the pantry. Um, we season everything. Pinch of Tony's. Gotta keep it kicking. Okay. So, we're gonna let this cook on low on about four. I'm gonna let this cool enough where I can dump this hot water so I'll have a place to put my meatloaf later. And we'll get back to y'all later okay this is my little emulsion blender i'm going to turn this into more of a mashed cauliflower 
So I've got to cook a little while because I've got to cook some of this fluid out. It's pretty good. I turned it down a bit because once I got a puree and it started just popping out this way down in the bottom of this pan but it was still coming out the top so I got it turned down from medium to around three and I want some of this fluid to cook out but I don't want it popping all over the stove and me so all right so I'm gonna let this cook down a few minutes and I'm going to be checking on our meatloaf soon and I'll get back with y'all in just a bit. Okay, this has been in about an hour. You can see it's pulling away from the side. Where it's cracking open. It's not it's not bloody or bleeding. It's done. It's not pink in the middle. It's cutting good. Our food is ready. So see? Beautiful. It's got that blend of sausage and ground beef. And peppers. All right. Now we're gonna come over here and get a scoop of mashed cauliflower. And there you have it—a nice, low-carb, delicious meatloaf dinner. Y'all take care and eat something good.